We've changed locations because we need a little bit of extra room for this stage of teaching the dog to heal. Now I have the high value treats in this hand and in the other video we just simply walked around the dog and I rewarded the dog anytime he came towards me. Now I'm doing this because I'm doing one session here with the clients but these should not be done back to back. You should keep on practicing walking around the dog until he's pretty much you start walking around he's following you. Now this one we're going to assign a command word for the heel position. I'm going to say heel here. You don't have to use the word heel. I talked to the clients off camera about using fun words. So you could say follow or you know position or whatever you word and you want and having a more unique word is actually more advisable and beneficial if you're in a park or something and you're asking your dog to walk in a heel and here's three people saying heel that can get a little confusing and distracting especially if you have somebody who doesn't walk or it doesn't know very well they can say heel 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 all right Bailey yeah I thought you'd come around all right so I we want to want to walk on the right side what I'm going to do, and this is a general rule of thumb, is you don't want to reach across your body to treat a dog. In this case, because he's a lower to the ground dog, I'm going to reach over. Now, I want his nose on the seam of my pants. This is what we call the heel position because we want the dog's nose around where a heel is. So I'm going to do a bit of a duck walk. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to walk around with it here. Now, try to have... Uh, good treat delivery. We don't want to drop it and have them getting it because that slows down the reward. Come back for you. Yep. Heel. Now if you notice, I'm stopping at this point every time I give them the treat. Eventually we're not going to do that. Heel. Heel. So now I've worked myself up to five steps. I didn't count on the first couple, but at first you want to just do one or two steps holding it here, then give him the treat. Not just here and immediately give him the treat. Eventually what we're going to do is we're going to pull it away, and I'm going to demonstrate that now. Bailey, let's come around. Let's come around this way first. So we have better camera presence when we come around. All right, everybody. All right. So I'm going to hold it on my heel. I'm going to take two steps. One, two. Three, heel, heel, one, two, now right there he stopped because I'm doing this a little bit fast. What I want to do is just have you walking around holding the treat here and just, and you're just going to give him the treat every, you take two or three steps. Then you're going to give them the treat. Pull out another treat, hold it here, take three or four steps. Not necessarily two steps, three steps, four steps. Do two or three steps. All right, you might have one session where you're just doing two steps the whole time. And when we just to have, get him used to being in this position, and now we're assigning the command word when it touches his lips. Now at the end there, I was, I was going a couple steps, and I was pulling it away, and then giving it to him. Seems counterintuitive, but eventually we're going to pull it away and hold it away for longer and longer periods of time. What this teaches the dog is when the treat goes away, that's the exciting time. That means I'm about to get the treat because we're not always going to walk around with holding a treat here. So we need to get him used to staying in the heel position with, the, with our hand over here. And eventually we're not going to give him treats every two or three steps like we are now. But always back up. Start out with one or two steps with it here. And when you pull it away first, it's one second. I mean, not even a second. And then go right back to him. And, after, and do that one or two sessions. So when you're doing this, you have like maybe 15 or 20 treats just walking around back here. And again, do it when there aren't a lot of distractions. We want it to nice, make it as easy as possible so we put our dog in a position to succeed. So once we've done that, then we can start, um, when we worked ourselves up to the point where we take two or three or four steps holding it here, then we're gonna start going uh, two or three practice repetitions of that. Then the next time we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull it away and give it back the treat and say the word heal every time it touches his lips. And that first time, we're just every time he walks away, just boom, boom. Next time we do it, we're gonna pull it away and hold it for a half second and then come back and give him the treat and say heal. And eventually we're gonna elongate that to more and more steps and longer and longer that we hold the treat over here. And you're gonna find the dog walking next to you, looking up at you the whole time as you're walking because he's waiting for that treat. This eventually teaches the dog that staying in the heel position is not only something a human wants, it's something a human rewards. In the next video, we're going to talk about some things that you don't want to do.